Since his arrest on June 21st, Wayne Williams' lawyers have filed 42 defense motions. The most recent asks that the two murder charges against Williams be dropped because of what the defense calls prejudicial and inaccurate pretrial publicity. See, he has been tried. And may as well say he has virtually been convicted long before by the media. Homer and Faye Williams are retired school teachers. They say most of their savings have been spent supporting their son's home radio station and his musical promotion business. A recent highly controversial magazine interview in which Wayne Williams calls the FBI Keystone Cops netted the family $2,000. But lawyers say it will take thousands more to defend Williams. They have launched a nationwide appeal for money, trying to raise an immediate $40,000. The fact that you have so much uh, evidence that's going to concern forensics, acoustical tests, uh, fiber evidence, and it's going to be necessary to employ experts in order to uh, effectively assist in Wayne Williams' defense. And uh, obviously these things are going to cost money. Privately, few investigators believe Wayne Williams is the only man who may be responsible for the murders and disappearances of Atlanta's young blacks. But some parents of the 26 other victims accuse police of backing off their investigation since Williams' arrest. The city of Atlanta shouldn't have um, let so many other investigators go that was on the case. They should still be out here looking for the murders of the, old, the other kids. The Williams claim that police, desperate for a break in the case, set up their son's arrest. They didn't have and don't have enough evidence, not only to uh, indict him, but to arrest him. I just like to give them a warning that whether they believe it or not, the killer is still at large. He's out there. Judge Clarence Cooper continues reviewing the case and the long list of motions. A trial date still hasn't been set. Bob Serkin, ABC News, Atlanta.